ఫ్రెండ్స్ లాస్ట్ టైం ఐ మేడ్ ఏ వీడియో యుఎస్ఐటి రిక్రూటర్స్ లైఫ్ ఇన్ ఇండియా ద సేమ్ థింగ్ ఐఎమ్ ట్రైంగ్ టు మేక్ ఇట్ ఇన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ బికాస్ సంబడి రిక్వెస్టెడ్ టు మేక్ ఇట్ ఇన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ ఓకే ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఎనీవే లాస్ట్ టైం ఐ మేడ్ ఏ వీడియో దట్ సంబడి రిక్వెస్టెడ్ టు మేక్ ఇట్ ఇన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ దట్ ఈస్ అబౌట్ యుఎస్ఐటి రిక్రూటర్స్ లైఫ్ ఇన్ ఇండియా సారీ మే రిక్వెస్ట్ మీ టు మేక్ ఎ వీడియో ఇన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ ద సేమ్ థింగ్ ఐమ్ మేకింగ్ ఇట్ ఇన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ నౌ సో దట్స్ అబౌట్ ఏ రిక్రూటర్ ఫ్రెండ్ or recruiter subscriber who watched all my 3000 uh, videos it's not uh, joke right i thought of stop making videos on uh, h1b topics and uh, all that my son told dad stop it because you already did and i found that today I went to temple and uh, one of the subscribers told sir i'm you you are a youtuber right i watch your videos then i said um, why do you watch he said i like your uh, fighting spirit so that's the reason he watched my videos but anyway this topic is about uh, saikiran or uh, it's not one individual usit recruiters how their life in india so i know there are three types of um, recruiters in india usit recruiters one they have to uh, what do you call మార్కెట్ ది రెజ్యూమే మార్కెట్ ది రెజ్యూమే ఆఫ్ ఫ్రెషర్స్ మార్కెట్ ది రెజ్యూమే ఆఫ్ ఫ్రెషర్స్ హూ డూ నాట్ హ్యావ్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ రైట్ దే హ్యావ్ టు ట్రాప్ బేసికల్లీ ఫ్రమ్ యూనివర్సిటీస్ వైల్ దే ఆర్ స్టడింగ్ దేర్ సెకండ్ దోస్ హూ ఆర్ రిసైడ్ ఇన్ ద గెస్ట్ హౌస్ గెస్ట్ హౌస్ మీన్స్ ఏ టూ బెడ్రూమ్ or three bedroom apartment where um, you know 20 to 25 members live in one apartment so that is what is a guest house in usa uh, you don't know you might have uh, several body shops around your house guest houses um, you can you have to go out and see then uh, 25 members live in uh, one apartment uh, that's how they survive uh it's a free all call free for all free is yes. everything free that because anything you accept that is free you are fucked up because something they will take it from your back right from the paychecks no paychecks so those stuff will be happening that is the uh what to do or some positive body shops have started and doing the business so this uh, let me go all his comments because i told in telugu the recent comment is wonderful he wrote and uh, that is one and next one type of recruiter the other type the, those who trap them from universities and put it in the guest house he has to push them to the projects so that is another type of recruiter so these two may not get any salaries until they get a placed the candidate in us get placed the third type is h1b out of project came to guest house h1b transfer indian water transfer and push them to the projects so that is how another uh, type of uh, thing you have to push them to the projects once they get placed they will get money so this third type recruiter will get 2000 dollars a month in india i'm talking earlier also one recruiter contracted he studied up to 10th grade then i advise him to do the post graduation uh, by correspondence degree also because you need uh, all that for uh, uh, h1b right he wants to come to america sir in our body shop uh, 50 h1b sore and bench from the last uh, 90 days so owner running fake paychecks i told you right uh, where i worked in 2018 maryland government project seven layers formed and at the seventh layer 75 dollars an hour sixth layer or fifth layer is hindu converted christian 
who ran away with two months of salary and then gave at earnest notice and the seventh layer uh, spent my salaries with women in megas he took the money that's how body shops are doing man so in our body shop 50 h1b's are on bench from the last 90 days so bench the word bench is illegal according to department of labor but in america do you tell me which indian follow the rules man so 50 h1b's are uh, from bench from last 90 days owners running fake paychecks they are not capable to do work on site that means he's talking about h1b's everyone needs remote work job the tragedy is everyone has 12 plus years of experience with 10 pages long resumes i think that woman h1b slept with a body shop owner so he is running paychecks from the three months i think that bench employees are doing illegal jobs in india night time in office girls and boys are fucking dark rooms job sites are spam that she is describing about the working conditions in india so sad man i also put a picture right earlier i think the woman okay so he is running paychecks from the last 3 months i think that bench employees are doing illegal jobs in india night time in office girls and boys uh, that line is over so job sites are spam in usa yeah like, this is true all job sites are uh, i don't want to generalize it majority all jobs that are posted by body shops and people applied for jobs are from body shops 50 bench one h1b list given to 150 us it recruiters 150 recruiting team everyone will create a fake email id 150 into 50 150 multiplied by 50 7500 fake emails everyone everyone in brackets 150 team will take the copy of 50 members of resumes for one job 150 members will apply means 150 resumes are same with different mail id numbers so that's how h1b's get jobs in america so i have asked do you have a proof of evidence no i don't have Uh, proof on paper i listen when our team lead the person who is manning body shops are communicating so yeah in india another thing is they will kill uh, if you record or uh, proof but in america you can record with a pen camera so i left the job i will say the conditions that are apply for a new candidate after working for 3 months they will give 3 months salary means you will get 30000 inr after 3 months of work without taking any holidays first 15 days salary is deducted because it is training period for training and learning they won't give salary it means after 3 months you will get 2500 rupees salary because 5000 rupees they deduct because you training you will get 2500 deducted from 15 days office starts at 7 pm so yeah so don't work in night shifts brother that's what my advice, my advice because i worked in new york in uh, one of the client locations in uh, <coughs> during 2011 to 14 um, night shift night shift spoils your uh, biological system right your uh, health and all so i'm talking about uh, my nynj projects in 2011 to 15 so you will get 2500 and if one or two minutes later the late <coughs> return to home t- because they don't pay salaries that day for showing unprofessionalism means coming late to office so they will deduct this is the life of uh, usit recruiters in india they will deduct one more day salary he wrote in telugu oh, in english words so for me also difficult to read but i will read if you are an enhanced telugu speaker please bear with me for few minutes oka roju vellakunta aa roju salary cut inka minus so they will cut it seems if you don't go to the work so 400 rupees inr so for not coming to office first 6 months lo oka placement aina kaakunte then leave the job so first 6 months if you do not place any candidate you have to leave the job if someone comes late they will talk about professionalism and punctuality what the hell they are doing in usa that guy is asking me 
If they all talk about professionalism and punctuality in India, each and every hour they will monitor in office. So they give motivation to employees in Indian office. The people who are maintaining in India are bossy and arrogant. Like I said, right, IAS officers in India, majority not all, are arrogant and bossy. Too much vulgar language. Yeah, I don't understand why the hell they will decorate offices with pictures of Hindu gods in it, park. Uh, in it park more than 30 body shops office yeah, park means the id park where he's working 30 body shops office in the park in the ca- they have a cafeteria everything is too much cost normally 20 inr normal white rice 100 cool drink 50 inr so daily i used to take a coffee tea sorry tea rice cool drink 150 my hostel fees is 6000 inr timings of <coughs> Sorry. Timings of office and my hostel food timings did not match. So daily I used to eat outside 200 INR. So 170 office plus 200 outside 370 INR without including my hostel fees. So cafeteria and shopping malls near IT park will loot employees. Above all that body pain started because of night work. So the people who are working in USIT behave like they are gems. So they know something great and are bringing society by providing employment in India and USA. So the USIT recruiters feel that they are something great. My question is how one can expect professionalism and professional work. Yeah, I consider your employer, ex-employer since you left, right? It's a criminal man. It's a mafia. So don't work um, as a recruiter in India for IT body shops in uh, USA. Your experience doesn't count. It is really hell. I left the USIT recruiter job. They didn't give me salary. I will get 10,000 INR from them. So I'm not even expecting 10,000 INR from them. They need formals and shoes in office. Manavala di Yalaunante Anta Chese de Lanja Panulukani Chusevala Kadi Sita Devan coloring. So we do prostitution, but we give a build up as a virgin, is what he wrote in Telugu. So, yeah, so many things. Let me end my live one. I will continue. <coughs> yeah. Then uh, what he wrote is another comment. Later I will share the shared material with me. Also references about visas and cities. So na dukku pani kani rani batch akda body shop owners the gra guest houses low untaru kada H one B's. Aim project like a bench me the unna wallu wallu details and niwa ka paper me the list is start name technology phone number experience location visa status then ni hot list untar. Consultancy lo me month anto ko bargaining chahiye alante. 70 hours ke OPT, CPT also same H1B somewhat I think so. So every OPT, CPT uh, it's, uh, it's, as a 5 years fake experience, me ko me ekada 10.45 pm ke lunch break is tar. Bagi ekada, awa ekada India la. So apudu, sorry. So apudu ekada afternoon 12 pm ka awa chhu. So lunch break o, o, kada. So he goes to down, nest extra charges under IT park. Lo. Walking chadda mani wide ke velte road pakkana wa prostitutes kani bistaru, raid bargain chastaru. So he goes out for a walking after the dinner, after lunch because it's a night shift, right? Then he come across the prostitutes standing outside this IT park. So ni ke mani bistundi anta anta meru baita. Chestaru, Memo body shop Luchesamo. Now Kaman Bisna, he felt like uh, body shops are doing prostitution inside, but the girl, women who are doing prostitution outside is what he felt. Prostitution profession is somewhat better than H1B business, is what I feel. That's what he told. 
at least prostitutes doesn't play with a man feelings and emotions they charge according to the service normal girls emotional blackmail fake love i respect prostitutes so they are not playing with other emotions they are honest when coming to the their profession ekkada morning office aipothundi that means morning completed then prostitutes kuda prostitutes also business over అయిపోతున్న తర్వాత వెళ్తారు సో గ్రీన్ కార్డ్ ఈజ్ గివెన్ టు ఈజీ యువర్ ఇన్ అండ్ అవుట్పుట్ ఫ్రమ్ ద కంట్రీ సో వీ మేడ్ ఇట్ పింపింగ్ బిజినెస్ సో హీ సెడ్ ఈ కంపేర్డ్ దట్ హెచ్ వన్ బి టు ద పింపింగ్ బిజినెస్ బట్ మేక్ ఏ వీడియో ఆన్ దిస్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ దట్ ఐ ప్రొవైడెడ్ హైదరాబాద్లో నైట్ ఆఫీస్ ఏదో ప్రాసిక్యూట్ బిజినెస్ నైట్ టైం చేస్తున్నాడు ఇక్కడ ఇంకా కొందరు అయితే ప్లేస్మెంట్ చేస్తా ఇండియా గోవా ట్రిప్ అంట అక్కడ ఎవరికి గ్రాటిట్యూడ్ ఉండదు కన్క్లూజన్ అంటే ఇండియన్స్ ఆర్ ఫోల్స్ యూజ్ ఫర్ నథింగ్ థ్యాంక్ యూ